Stephen is the man with the hat and the metal detector. Oh, oh, oh. Walking the land, he's a treasure collector. Oh, oh, oh. Metal detecting and digging lots of holes, looking for anything that's old. New videos every week, so please subscribe. Hey up, I didn't bring my camera today because I just fancied a quiet little dig with me, little mate here, emphasis on the word little, and um, <laughs> I, I like insulting him you see because every time I take him on my permissions he finds stuff, I mean really good stuff and I don't find much at all. What have you had, you've had a, a silver buckle ring, Yep. is that a 20, 22 carat gold, gold ring, yeah. 18 1876 that one. 1876 men's yeah. chunky gold signet ring. And today I said, well, go on here, but we won't find much because, uh, well, we just don't find much. But they've dragged the grass, as you can see, it looks all dragged and dying back. And he's just found these. There we go, look, a little Roman brooch and a Tudor dress hook. And I found three shotgun cartridges. Don't smirk. Here we go, a little bullet. That's a button, it's not a bullet. Oh yeah, but yeah, button. <laughs> right, nice little, right, nice little button. Now weep. <laughs> it is nice that one, actually, very nice. Yeah, it's a bit damaged. Yeah. I can't remember what it is though, because the Royal Artillery is the guns, isn't it? Yeah. So that one, fusiliers. I, I can't remember. No, it could be the Yorkshire Regiment. All oh, right. Is that two prancing lions? I don't know. I can't see it very well. You got glasses on. You got the advantage yeah. of me. Right. Some people know what it is. I can't remember them all now. Here he goes again. Another bloody Roman brooch or a ring or something. Anyway, I've just found a nice little buckle. I haven't dated that yet, but it's probably 1250 to 1400-ish, something like that. What you got, Derek? Uh, it's just a tiny, tiny little musket ball. Oh, it is tiny. Yeah. Not been fine by the looks of it. No. Like or, a little or it missed. Like a little pistol shot. Yeah. Good job. Oh, I just found a Harrogate pin. There's no pin on the back, of course. You wouldn't expect it to be. But that's a nice pin. Looks like Derek's on the target as well. It's not a good sign if it's in the grass, is it? Too shallow. Yeah, nice bit of foil. Oh well. Oh, won't find it again. No, that's true. Well, that one was a crazy signal, but some nice decoration on there. I think it was possibly some sort of adornment, maybe for clothing, leather, something like that. But it's lovely. And I don't know what that is, but hmm, it was something. Yeah, chocolate orange. We're doing a cake break. Where's Derek? Come over here. We're doing a cake break. And it's hot cross buns, chocolate orange ones. It's time to get closer, look taller. <laughs> you look taller to get closer. <laughs> you have to get really close. <laughs> yeah. mm, have a cake break. In your cake hole. And I've got a can of 0% beer. Lovely jubbly. Very yeah, nice. <sighs> We haven't found much. He's got a Roman brooch and a Tudor clothes hook. Um, you've seen my bits and pieces that are anything worth showing you. As I said, I wasn't going to make a video today. I didn't think we'd find anything. We'd be moving on to some pasture, just having a dig with a couple of friends today. But as it happens, one or two things have come up. So that's worth celebrating with a cake break. Absolutely. Mm. Have a cake break. Now listen to that. That is what a silver sounds like. Yay, Victoria, a little bit warm, but that's what a silver sounds like. You don't hear that very often. It must be my day today. Fantastic. Little snail shells. So that to me shows that that's definitely the dinner table of a thrush. Now, can you see that? 
Uh, it's not very good with an iPhone. Wish I brought my camera now. Look. I just don't know what condition it's in. Look. Look, look, look. Oh, yeah. It's my first hammer this year. And today is... Uh, whatever day it is. First hammer this year. It's in good condition. Oops. It's an Edward. I don't know what Edward. Here he comes. Here he comes. Hey, look at this. It's an Edward. Oh, lovely. Good nick. Oh, what a cracker. That is really nice. Well, doing so much better without a camera today. Lovely. Nice big musket ball. Now that's definitely had an impact. Hey, good morning. Still haven't got a camera because I didn't bring one with me this weekend to my permission. I did intend to do no filming. After all, my luck hasn't been running very well just of late, so there was no point. I just wanted to enjoy dig. So yesterday uh, was with Derek, who had some lovely finds, and I had that lovely hammer coin too. So I've decided to come back on my own because we had a good day. And if I found anything, I just stick it on my iPhone again, this thing. So I found something, and it's a very nice condition too. Let me show you in the hole. Can you see that? Let me turn it over. In fact, let me just show you that side properly in the sun. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? Now if I turn it over, boom! A lovely, lovely radiant. Roman, first, second century, thereabouts. Um, I've yet to identify the emperor. But I'll do that as soon as I can get a better look at it. So, wasn't well, that a great find? It's about my fifth target this morning in the first uh, 45 minutes, maybe 40 minutes. So hopefully there'll be more to come. Boom, I like this. Now this field has never really produced very much. You hardly ever get on here anyway. It's part of my um, estate where I've got 1,100 acres by the coast and it's always worked over very, very quickly. But you can see behind me, it's still in stubble. And now it's the 9th of, uh, of April, 9th of April. Everything else is in crop. I've uh, been seeded about a month ago. And for some reason, this one has been left. So, uh, so I'm happy. I'm, in fact, I'm very happy. I could go home now and be totally happy all day. But I'll see if I can find anything else to bring you. Another one. Now, I didn't show you that one because I have been finding lots of uh, bronze slag and they sound quite similar. And I found nothing on this field before. Superb. That's a lovely radiant like the other one. Well, now I'm definitely going to be the first one to admit I don't know what that is. One thing I do know is that it's quite old. Right, I'm calling it a day, but there's some of the interesting things I've found. Now, I find that interesting because there's an old bird ring dating from 1944. Don't often find them. We usually find pigeon rings. That is a, um, what looks like anyway, a lead pot mend. You don't see them that small very usually. Very old handle of a, of a fork or a spoon and I'm not sure what that is but it's interesting anyway on to the good bits some people are saying now that that's probably Roman especially as I'm finding lots of Roman today musket ball Vicky Hans Crown Winkle that's a Jetton 1947 half silver half crown of course um, that little buckle I don't think I showed you that when I dug it up that is also a Roman coin, although it's got a hole through it. It's very thin and, and, and it's got a hole wearing through. And there's two radiates. Let me just turn this one over. 
There we go. Very good condition radiates. Love them. Well, it seems that my lean period has ended, which is fantastic as far as I'm concerned. But because I didn't bring the camera with me because I wanted some time just digging and enjoying the company of Derek and just on my own without having to worry about a camera, I can dig more holes that way. It was a great pleasure to do that. And every now and again, uh, I just get my iPhone out and filmed it. So I'm sorry about the quality of the, of the video. However, it's so much easier digging with an iPhone, even if you sacrifice a bit of quality. Now, I want to give you a tip about filming with an iPhone or any other phone. There's only a limited memory in there. And I ran out of memory yesterday within half an hour. Um, I cleared it and I did it again, ran out again within half an hour. And I've cleared it again five times today. I could have filmed so much more. Um, so I'll give you a tip really on what I did. The best ideas are always simple. You don't need a phone with big memory. You don't need hardly any memory. You can just film one short piece of a minute long and then get rid of that and do your next piece. And this is what I do. I've got a pretty good signal here I am. It's low quality 4G, about two bars. And sometimes it drops into 3G, but it's still a signal. So what I do is I've now got a Dropbox. A Dropbox is an online storage facility. You can send files to there for safety and you can access them from any, any way you like, from your PC, from your tablet, from wherever, when wherever you are. They're all like sent up into that storage system. So that's Dropbox, look it up. Well, you can see a link at the bottom of the video in the description. Download that. Make sure you've um, accessed the Dropbox by downloading their app and put that onto your phone. Right, and here's what I do. I film a couple of shots, 30 seconds to a minute long maybe, and before I start getting warnings I'm running low on memory, I open the app and leave it open on Dropbox, and I send the files I've just recorded, the movie files, to Dropbox. By the time I've walked and dug my next hole, or found my next target, or want to record something, the files are already in Dropbox, safe and secure. So, I then come back, I want to record some more video, I quickly just go to the camera files, delete the last two videos, because they're safe now in Dropbox online, and I record some more. And every few minutes, I just keep sending it up to Dropbox. You can store as many files as you like there, as long as you've got the space. And if you want more space, you can refer friends just by using your personal referral link and Dropbox gives you more space that you can use for your own personal use. So that's my tip for today with filming with an iPhone. And I only discovered that tip thinking, how can I overcome this problem running out of space? So maybe it was lucky that I came without a camera today. So if you like that tip, leave a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. Catch you later. Detecting and digging lots of holes Looking for anything that's old New videos every week, so please subscribe